Hello everyone, welcome to TechTed.com. Today I am going to discuss some questions which hits my inbox every day. Some questions never die, but the answers to them may change due to changing circumstances and with the change of available options. Can somebody crack it without taking coaching? Answer is yes. Second question is, can somebody crack it with top 100 rank without getting coaching or without taking any coaching? The answer is still yes, somebody of course can. My last question is or the, the last question which I often being asked is can I crack it without taking coaching? Now my answer is you can judge better. So. This video is for all of them who used to uh, ping me with similar questions. So I want to answer all of them simultaneously here that you are the one who can decide whether you should go for coaching or not. Well, if you are the one who has to decide then why I'm talking to you on this? I'm talking to you because I can aware you with various facts, various options and the consequences so that you can take better judgment okay and my idea is to assist you first of all coaching is not a bad thing or evil thing no one can say this bluntly but it is very similar to uh, medicine available on you know chemist store so it helps them who needs it taking unnecessary medicine will of course lead you to loss of money as well as the side effects of medicine. So let's talk about various points which will help you to understand whether you should go for coaching or not. So first of all let's talk in favor of coaching. So the first one is coaching gives you continuous push. It's very similar to joining a gym you know when you join a gym and uh, you go to exercise in the gym environment affects you you see others exercising and then you get a different kind of energy and enthusiasm okay to do a workout so similar situation is there in the coaching institute when you visit the institute when you go on regular basis okay it gives you some energy the environment around you pushes you to work for your goal okay and as well as uh, coaching follows some you know uh, time frame to finish the syllabus so that's also pushes you to work so that you can go with them okay you can walk along with the coaching institute next point is effective planned and targeted study every coaching covers syllabus in a planned manner okay so we all know that there are some priority of the subject marks wise priority and the number of questions of course so few subjects have higher weightage so coaching plans the curriculum in such a manner so that you know it can be highly effective similarly they also organize regular test series which you know keeps uh, which helps you to keep ev evaluating yourself so these are the points where coaching helps you to do an effective and targeted study the next point is continuous practice so when you are in a coaching it gives you environment of continuous practice okay so what happens most of the time is that uh, some some of the friend comes with some doubt or some question you guys uh, discuss among yourself and that makes your concept more clearer uh, moreover uh, whenever class is over there are some assignments there are some uh, daily problems to be finished by the day by the end of the day itself so it gives you a chance of continuous practice and my last point is learn much in less time gate preparation and your college exam preparation are quite quite different right somebody can top the college exam but may fail to achieve even the qualifying marks in gate so the exam pattern is different the way question is being asked is different right and there are only two ways of study one is that you are going to refer the good textbook okay and you are going to study everything by your own another one is 
that somebody is going to explain the things to you right now find out which one is easier for you most often for most of students getting learned from somebody if somebody explains grasping that thing is easy right so in that manner coaching comes in picture that they have experienced faculties they will explain you the things and it will be easier for you to grasp quickly now these are the points which we have just talked are in favor of coaching now let's talk some point which is not in favor of coaching and considering that somebody should not be going for a coaching institute only few institutes are good rest are average or below average today there are a number of coaching institutes out there in market but you need to understand that everyone is not good sometimes what happens is a, a topper student takes coaching in some institute and take test series in another institute uh, might have taken some study material in last to last year or last to last year in some other institute so they all will list the name of that topper so we need to be aware that the results are genuine and moreover it also happens that sometimes topper are being paid for letting their name list in top institutes or some institute okay so you need to be aware that the result which you are looking at is genuine all that glitters is not gold not all teachers are good okay sometimes some teacher is good in one subject but not good in another subject it also happens that teachers good teachers switches the institute in between the course right so that may lead you to you know waste your time or in a trap where you cannot even leave your money behind and quit the coaching and you are also not not happy with the current teacher in the institute so make sure that whatever you are going to learn i mean whoever you are choosing as your coach is of course renowned person in that particular area and he teaches the subject well please don't get attracted by good dressing sense or fitness of the person all you need to concentrate is his knowledge his depth of knowledge sometimes coaching may waste your time so let's say when you know the subject well and let's say you are a person who missed last year gate in by few marks but still you are planning to join coaching i must say that may not be a good idea because you already know the subjects you missed last time just because of you know few mistake or something then still if you are joining the coaching then you have to go through the whole process teacher will come every day will teach basic concepts which you already know okay so in that case you are going to waste your time all you need is to practice to make sure that next time you are not going to repeat the same mistake right so in that case if you are on that boat where last time you missed gate by few marks most often you know all the topics then it will completely you know taking a coaching will completely waste your time i would say only 5 to 6 students are able to qualify gate in a batch of 100 most often from a batch of 100 only 5 to 6 students are able to get good rank and make into isc or iit then other students are just they join and pay the fee right so you are the best person who can decide whether you should go coaching or not most often i also see people suggesting others not to go while they had done during their time right so that i don't find good i mean we should be fair while suggesting others well so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to give you some checklist okay some points to validate okay so if that this validates go for coaching if it doesn't don't go for coaching right so so far we have discussed the pros and cons now let's go through each checkpoint one by one so the first point is be realistic and do a personal analysis so judge yourself 
from other side look at yourself and see that so far whatever decisions you have made had you walked around it have you acted properly on your old decisions most often what happens is when we are going to decide about this we are very much emotional and you know we make decisions that i will do this i'll do that but after some time this enthu decreases and the time which you need to put the effort which you need to put or we are not able to do so so that's where it comes you know the power of decision making and executing so do a proper analysis of yourself whether you are well in executing whether you have executed your plans properly so far if not then i suggest go for coaching institute because when you are going to prepare by yourself you have to be determined you have to execute what you are deciding every day right in coaching institutes you will get extern external forces to push you to work but when you are working by yourself when you are preparing by yourself you have to have that passion the second checklist is think how good you are at building logics by self study so as i was saying that this gate preparation and the college study is quite different these two things were different we have faced so many exams by you know sitting overnight and study but that is not going to work if in case of gate okay so just analyze that by doing a self study how good you build logic the simplest way is after studying a topic just solve a problem okay so if you are able to solve a problem then it means that you can build logic and work around it fine so if you are good at building logic by self study then you can stay and do self study otherwise it's better to take a coaching the next checklist is do a logical calculation of time remaining and the syllabus you need to cover so we all have you know syllabus online and we can see how many topics we have to cover throughout this gate preparation and you can calculate whenever you are studying uh, starting the study you can calculate how much time you have right and think about it that whether putting the time in self study as we know self study takes bit longer time so doing self study whether you will be able to cover the syllabus or not right so if the answer is no then go for coaching because there you have faster way of study somebody is assisting you but if you can it's better to stay for self study well most important point is the next checklist that does your pocket allow well you can see the coaching institutes are charging a huge amount nowadays so if you go for renowned coaching institute it must be 50000 plus for entire course and apart from it if you are staying outside your home you have to pay other expenses so you need to think that whether your pocket is allowing for that moreover you have other options where you can get you know online or other coachings at cheaper cost but at the same time you have to analyze whether these are effective or not okay so sometimes a single person may be teaching all the subjects which may lead to you know a bad preparation or misconception of the subject so you have to do a proper calculation how much money you can afford to pay okay and if you can afford good amount to pay of course prefer the better option right so this is very important thing and give a proper thought over it talk to your parents and decide whether you can go for a coaching or not so if your pocket supports go for it if doesn't stay with us the next point is is your basic clear you only need practice so if your basic is already clear you only need to do practice then of course you need not to go for coaching okay so you need know the basics what you need to do is solve more questions variety of questions solve questions within a given time frame and decide whether you are able to perform well under pressure or not okay so virtual gate have many previous year questions and also so many test series 
we have been conducting from last three years so you can go and try your concept there check your concepts and see whether uh, whether your basics are clear or not so if your basics are clear do practice by yourself don't join coaching well so these were all points regarding whether you should join coaching or not so now you can see that it is completely dependent on your circumstances you need to decide whether your circumstances allow so considering all these facts all these options sit give it a proper thought if you are still confused if you have some specific question do post to me i'll try to clarify it and take a proper decision okay so this is a you know lifetime decision this can this can or this will change your life entirely so give it some time don't be hurry okay in another video i'll try to cover up other uh, topics where i'll tell you that if you are planning to join offline or online coaching what you should do what you should see in the coaching institutes okay and which one you can join so see you in the next video thank you for watching all the best